Hello and welcome to the third video on mental math strategies. This mental math strategy uh, is for using the relationship between addition and subtraction in particular to help you solve subtraction problems. Just to go on to what addition is, addition is putting together so that you can find a whole. Um, subtraction is you are you've already been given the whole and one of the parts and you're trying to find the missing part. So that's how addition and subtraction are related. Let's go to an example where we can see how to use this relationship. Okay, so in the problem 12 minus 8, 12 minus 8 is really asking you another question that's related to addition. And that question is 8 plus what you can use the what by drawing a box, or you can use the what by putting a line here. 8 plus what makes 12, or equals 12. And if you know that 8 plus 4 makes 12, then you're very, very um, confident and able to solve the subtraction problem because the answer to 12 minus 8 is 4. So we can use the relationship between addition and to solve subtraction problems. So if we're being asked 12 minus 8, it's really asking us 8 plus what equals 12? And that's what's here. And the missing uh, number, the missing part here, is 4. So 8 plus 4 equals 12. The other way that you can think about it, if you, um, if you didn't know this fact, is to still write 8 plus what equals 12 and then to begin to think about the make 10 strategy. So you can say, okay, 12 is made up of 10 and 2, so I'm first going to ask 8 and what make 10? 8 and 2 make 10, so I'll put the 2 right there. And then 10 and what make 12? Well, 10 and 2 make 12. So 2 plus 2 would be 4, and that would be the missing number. Okay. Let's put this strategy to use on some new subtraction problems. Okay. What question is 13 minus 6 really asking? Pause the video and see if you can say what that question is. Okay. If you said 6 plus what equals 13, you'd be correct. All right, 6 plus what equals 13? If you know this fact automatically, great. If you don't, we can solve it. Think about it. 13 is 10 and 3. So first question is, I'm at 6 right now. 6 and what make 10? 6 and 4. And 10 and what make 13? 10 and 3. So the answer to this problem right here is whatever 4 plus 3 is, which is 7. So 13 minus 6 equals 7. Next, 15 minus 7 is really asking you 7 plus what makes 15? And the answer to that is 8. If you know your addition facts, uh, you can use them to solve subtraction problems as well. All right, and just to think about it differently, in case you didn't know that this was 8, uh, you can say 7 and what make 10, because 15 is made up of 10 and 15, 7 and 3, and 10 and what make 15? 10 and 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8. And that's the missing number. That's the missing part. Okay, subtraction problems are just missing part problems. Addition problems are when you know all of the parts and you're trying to find the whole. There's one more video on the mental math strategies in this series. Please watch it, and I hope you're enjoying and using these strategies.